right, here we go, folks. It is S2 Recon Capture the Flag Calvin and Hobbes Tournament 2022. Uh, this is uh, just a classic, uh, classic S2, I think. CTF straight up. We're looking at uh, Team Father Xmas. He has with him Graphene, Overdose, Psy, Hobbs, Malsleisure, and Karma. Quite the strong team. Kind of uh, maybe the more Rambo team on that one. Definitely the damage, I think the damage forward team. And we have Team Unch. And he's with him at Leonardo, Gorilla, Xenophon, Gerald Toad, MP Mint, and Spy. Also a very strong team. Gorilla, Xenophon, Spy, Leonardo, experienced players with MP Mint. Uh, you know, crazy Rambo player, but lots of experience. And uh, we said Gorilla's been doing fantastic work all around. Gerald Toad, Unch. Now, Unch is the, the wild card here. I, you know, who, who knows how he's going to captain this one. But overall, I would say we got uh, some fairly even teams. Uh, Mouse Leisure is possibly AFK, says Spy, in which case Team Unch will have a slight advantage there in terms of the players. Looks like uh, Team Father X-Men is a little faster on the deploy. I can see Team Unch is uh, taking their time here. Gerald Toad holding that cannon for him. Overdose holding the cannon for Team Father x -Mas. X was a little slow picking up these uh, RPGs. They definitely need to grab those. You get Psy to uh, grab some of those if he can. He's already loaded up, though. But that's a dangerous position to have all those RPGs there, of course. Right up front, Karma getting aggressive, scouting out this position here. Swamps, says Leonardo. On the move. There, Gorilla saying, don't go too wide. Ah, he wants to have maybe a tighter attack. Interesting. Spy and Xenophon. Oh, what a great shot from Xenophon. Point blank. Getting uh, the first kill there. Against one of those forward units. Hard to say who that was. Hobbs, possibly. Or Graphy. RPG attacks coming in. A gorilla with those attacks against Karma as Spy is going to work on graphing. Psy throwing down some RPGs as well for Team Father Xmas. And it is a gra slow but steady development on the planes here for Team Father Xmas. I think that is oh, graphing uh, doing that, but I think he had Karma with him as well. At one time, I don't see him now though. Oh no, and Graphene is in trouble here. Gorilla is coming in from the mid with Xenophon from the plains. Oh, and they're just gonna, they, I suspect they'll just destroy our man Graphene. Yes, he's right in the middle of a pincer move. Oh my gosh, he is being so overwhelmed. MP Mint there as well. Graphene should clear out if he can. He's tossing his grenades, but he is about to get totally destroyed on the planes, and that's going to be a big, huge planes win for Team Unch. They are in position now to make a rush on this flag without a doubt. There is not a lot of defense there. I can see four units there with the cannon. The cannon is exposed. Father Xmas noting that they've got problems in the swamps. That is Leonardo, I believe, with his small flank. So actually good position for him to be in. He might be able to draw off some of this defense to uh, give team uh, to give team Unch that uh, further edge, which they you know they already have. Whoa, that was a huge explosion there. I didn't even see who got blown up. Team Father Xmas is down, no 10% now. Team Unch taking its time to uh, develop this attack. Wild RPG there from Leonardo. Another one of those uh, offensive units. I see. Was it Gorilla getting blown up? Father Xmas, Team Xmas doing the defense. That is actually now going to put Team Lunch down 10%. Oh no, so things flipped around pretty fast. Uh, Team Father Xmas now is in a pretty strong defensive position. They've got a backfield happening. Look at this, Xenophon all the way in the back. He's taking out Mouse Leisure, who was AFK, I think. Oh my gosh. That's going to even things up nicely. So good move from uh, Xenophon for Team Lunch. Might even get Graphene here to further strengthen this lead. As I can see that MP Mint with Spy want to go all the way here, but there's a lot of defense there. I don't know if they can do it. MP taking a lot of hits there. Xenophon is just one-on-one -on -one versus Graphene. He might be able to get Graphene there. He's staying right on RPG though. These guys are so badly injured, oh no. But he, Xenophon does it, he'll be able to heal up. That is to his advantage, even, you know, waste those heals, use those heals, do whatever he wants in the backfield. Looks like Leonardo didn't make it. 
with his flank attack. I think he was stopped by Karma. Ah, that is too bad for Team Unch. However, percents are tied. Cannon, I think both cannons have been destroyed. Yes, indeed. So this is a, a straight up tie game right now. Psy taking a lot of hits there. He should go heal. Well, he can. That's Gorilla and Spy in the mid. And I'm waiting to see what uh, what Xenophon is going to pull in the backfield here. No doubt he is healed up and trying to draw off Father Xmas and Overdose. I'd love to see these, this this kind of uh, you know really close late game. I love this uh, you know tense uh, late game play where these guys have to you know conserve their units and make sure that they uh, they communicate well and they you know coordinate. Karma saying he wants to go on the O. This is after wiping out Leonardo. He says he killed two swamps indeed. <clears throat> Looks like some spares being handed out there as well. Draw Toad, I think, giving out some spares. No spares left. Osai has a few, one extra unit, perhaps. Unch and Gorilla in the mid. This is Karma who is trying to counter Xenophon. This is Karma here coming around to do what Xenophon had already done. Now, unfortunately, a, a team of Father Xmas has got Xenophon's number, and they're hounding him. Look at that big attack. Psy with Overdose and Father Xmas all up against uh, Xenophon. He is on the ropes now, having to run like heck. Will they take him out? He heals himself, but uh, he's going to take some damage there. Karma is in position, but he himself has got Spy and Jarrell Toad blocking him. Looks like Xenophon did fall. Now it is just Unch on the attack. I think he should probably reassess this, though, and, uh, you know, he came undoubtedly to help Karma, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to help Xenophon, but it is too late, and he is either going to have to pull back uh, possibly go all D. I think they should. I mean, down 25%, or excuse me, down 5%, and with so few units remaining, all D might be the key here, uh, at least until they can turn things around. Nine minutes left, so still anything could happen. Looks like Karma still trying to make something work from the swamps. Team Unch a little forward with their defense, but then again, they, they sort of have to be, uh, you know, to keep these guys, to keep Team Father Xmas from concentrating on them, which is undoubtedly what they are preparing to do right now. Yep, Hobbs says he's on the way to the mid. Karma says he's looking for the scout. He wants to count all those units, but he will not be able to count five because our man Unch is not there, being uh, having replaced Xenophon on the deep flank. Actually now giving him a chance. I, I'm surprised uh, he was able to sneak through there, but uh, well done. Unfortunately, he is up against Overdose and Father Xmas, and will, I, you know, will he be able to push through that? Who knows? Spy and Gorilla in the mid here with the forward defense, and they are just blocking Hobbs now, who is scouting them out. Hobbs wanting to go back. Yes, that whole pile has not been blown. Oh, and this is going to give Hobbs a big advantage if he can just utilize that to spam with those RPGs. That that would be a much-needed tonic for Team Unch. I mean, against Team Unch, rather, for Father Xmas. Spy putting the heat on Psy. Psy getting taken out. That's going to even it right up. Psy with one unit there. He's going to have to clear out now. A team team Father Xmas is in a weird position here. They have three players in various flanking positions. They've uh, ha, uh, Psy has drawn off Gorilla and Spy. They do get Psy there, uh, but uh, that left only as you saw that uh, Karma there. I guess has taken over that unit from Unch. Or excuse me, Unch is still in the opposite. I get confused about these teams. Still trying to make it work because these what is happening is almost identical, except that the one player advantage here is for Hobbs, who if he goes to the flag will be able to support Karma. Overdose says he's gonna go. I think there he's gonna try to um, try to make a little extra offense happening here. Father Christmas is taking on all the defense for himself. How uh, that's a brave move, considering he has got to hold Unch off. That's a, a really gutsy move from Father Christmas. I'd like to see that. Risky. Putting his cards on the table. Karma drawing off all these players, Gorilla, Ja Rawl, and MP Mint all chasing Karma now, which is going to give Hobbs the chance. This is it. Hobbs can go in one man attack here. Can he do it? Oh, Ja Rawl Toad coming back. He saw what was happening there right away. MP Mint as well. They saw that and they are coming back. Oh, and there goes Hobbs, unfortunately, just not able to do it. <laughs> He's not happy about that. That is going to do it, though. 
as Karma is now most likely going to get taken out, yes, by Gorilla with the point blank bayonet. Wow, so that was uh, some solid defense from Team Unch. Team Father Xmas had a chance there when they had they had Psy, Hobbs, and Karma all in position, and they sort of um, they did I guess the best they could. Psy pulled off who he could. Karma pulled off the flag defense, and Hobbs was there to make the move, but you know he still didn't have uh, just quite enough to take it. As um, Jarral we saw <clears throat> with Empty Mint came back right away to prevent that from happening, and now it is. With 5 minutes, 38 seconds remaining, here we go. Xenophon pushed together, maybe. He's absolutely right. It is time for Team Unch to turn this around and go on the offense. Someone is missing, says Empy, but that is not actually the case. There's only two guys left. It is just Overdose and Father Xmas. Father Xmas, who uh, did prevent Unch from getting into that flag. So Father Xmas and uh, Overdose doing excellent defense work this, this whole game. And... Uh, we will see now if they can maybe push this down to a tie. Uh, see, Leonardo and uh, some of these guys, Empy, yeah, they think that there might be one out there. They've seen so many secret flanks this game, they're concerned there might be another one uh, secret flank out there. But I, as you can see, it's not the case. Overdose can't believe that they are down, given how this game played out. But I can tell them the answer to that. It was these. It was those that really wide, split up, staggered multiple flank attack they had right at the late game, which had some. You know, it was an interesting attack and had some possibilities, but they might have been better off just concentrating. Uh, you know, get all their firepower in one position. So hard to coordinate a split up attack like that. Team Unch. with the ten percent two unit advantage should have no problem here. Gorilla, the first man to make it to the flag. Spy coming up behind him. Spy is injured, though. And finally, the last of this offense is on its way. All of the offense going there. You can see Jeral and Empyment both coming down. So that is that is everything now on Overdose and Father Xmas. Can they hold this? Overdose going up with that forward defense. Pushing Spy off. We'll see how this goes down. MP Mint coming right in. That fully green unit, much needed there to help Gorilla and Spy, who have uh, so much damage on them, they can't possibly be too effective. So really key there. And also, of course, it will be Jarwell getting that heal, probably. Yep, smart move there. He can heal up Spy. As uh, we see the dodging going down there. Spy getting the heal from Jarwell. Great play from Jarwell, who's been on point this game. Uh, doing the defensive work. He's been where he needed to be. And uh, Overdose taking a couple hits there. He gets clipped. Will MP be able to take him out? He's tossing a grenade at Spy. No problem dodging that. He is then sniped. I think that was Gorilla with the snipe there against Overdose. It's all on Father Xmas now. He, it was all on him before against Unch, and he was able to pull it off. But, uh, he, you know, is he going to be able to do this against four players? I don't think so. Overdose saying he tunnel visioned a bit. Can happen. Spy getting right in here. He just wants to put this one away. Look how many kills he's got. He goes in with the Zook. Not quite able to do it. But at point blank range, he can just bayonet. Uh, that Zook there from MP Mint might do it. It does. Blowing up the last unit for Xmas on the flag for the win for Team Unch. So, wow, what a great game. And uh, I love the way that played out. Those multiple back and forth and double secret flanks. Uh, spectacular stuff. Yeah, we saw... Um, like I said, so many units getting into the backfield there. Father Xmas doing some of that work himself. Uh, you know, Xenophon as well. Xenophon especially uh, for Team Unch wasting, you know, getting there and causing chaos. Karma doing the same uh, for Team Father Xmas. And then Unch himself making a, a Rambo play as well for that backfield. Uh, Hobbs with a very close chance, uh, almost made it onto the flag there to win it for Father Xmas. Just, just missed that in the last second. So that's the second time Hobbs has tried to make that, you know, been sort of denied at the last second that we've seen there. So unfortunate for him. Uh, as you can see, Spy did the work on the kills. Xenophon also excellent work there with that backfield play. And MP Mint and Jeral were, were in position when they needed to be uh, with with the you know supports as key supporting goal players. Gorilla also nothing to shake a stick at there. And uh, Overdose, Father Xmas, fantastic defensive work. Uh, let's see. The rest of these guys, yeah, well, all of them, like, they were doing, I mean, except for Valsleisure, who was uh, AFK, unfortunately. That might have been the tipping point. 
Um, Elsleisure losing both of his, his AFK units. I think it was Xenophon who, who, who snuck those and uh, took them out. Uh, that was unfortunate, but those, those two extra units would have been so much needed for Team Father Xmas right in the late game. So the, the AFK player there, unfortunate, uh, could have, uh, you know, might have tipped the, tipped the game uh, the other way. But ultimately, it's going to go to Team Unch, who just wore down uh, Team Father Xmas. And uh, Team Father Xmas not able to connect with, with their um, audacious plays, although I like, their, I like their risky style, their risk strategy, as it were. So fantastic work from Team Unch. That is Calvin and Hobbs, S2 guys, 2022.